Hi there. Today I'll be showing you how to do your hat. So first we'll start with our chin strap. Your hat should be parallel to the ground. Your bottom buckle should be in line with the corner of your lip. And the top buckle should be in line with the corner of your eye. To make sure your chin strap perfectly lines up, make use of the pin in the hat. What I did with my hat was I put clips at exactly the location where I saw fit. Now we'll move on to putting our badge onto our fabric. This is fairly simple and just involves centerizing your badge and putting it one seam above the first seam on the poggery, like so. And just put your pins afterwards. Feel free to cut off any excess chin strap once you've perfected your hat. Now we'll move on to hat pressing. Pressing your hat is typically done with a hat press. However, if you don't have one, here's a simple alter alternative. Grab a damp cloth and place it over your hat and lightly iron it. This is sufficient enough and works just as useful as using a hat press. As your hat is nice and damp, it's a good idea to put some heavy books on top of it to really mould and form its shape. Another thing to make sure is that your hat is clean of dirt which can accumulate over time. Use a scissor to cut out any threads that may form up. If you've been in cadets a while, you may have a buildup of some green copper oxide on your chin strap. Easy remedy to fix this is to get any cleansing liquid like vinegar or bicarb soda mixed with lemon juice and, you, and just clean around the edges like so. Bashing a hat can be the difference between looking like a recruit or looking like a warrant officer. First thing to do is to place a hat in warm water for about 24 hours up to the crown. You can just use gentle movements to mold your hat. Bashing a hat is all about symmetry. What you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. Make sure not to bash your hat to the crown so your hat sinks too low, otherwise your hat head won't fit in. When bashing, remember to put your poggery on the bottom of your hat, just to make sure that your hat doesn't turn into some odd shape. Throughout the process, make sure you're referring to an actual hat to make sure you're not wandering off course at all. What I decided to do here is I just put a sheet of paper on top of my hat and put some pegs over the top to really get a good shape while it dries out. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you found something you can take home and learn. Uh, please share this with your friends if they need some help. Thank you.